Welcome back. Playground equipment is causing quite the stir in Davis. A years long battle by neighbors to rid the local park of a noisy zip line finally has a resolution tonight. CBS 13's Laura Haefeli is getting answers on why this playground fun is so problematic in the city council's move to fix it. Laura. Well, will the zip line stay or will it go? This was the debate happening for hours inside of city council chambers here in Davis, but a resolution was made and that's that the zip line is going to stay. But thankfully for neighbors, it will be moved farther away from residential streets. Take a look. I went to this park a lot since I was like Five. Avid Arroyo Park visitor and soccer star Lila Murdoch uses this green space in Davis for footwork, but from time to time picks playing over practice. I like playing with my friends on that um, park right there. We just watched you juggle that soccer ball. Do you occasionally take a break to use the zip line? I usually use a zip line when I'm playing in that playground. Tell me a little bit about how this zip line here works. You just sit on it and then you hang on to the little rope thingy and then you just let go of the bar right there. It's kind of like feeling like you're a Tarzan. But neighbors don't find the zip line quite as amusing. For years, asking the city to move it, claiming it's noisy at night. The sound, <laughs> boom, is really annoying. Because of the noise, the city posted this sign saying they're going to close the sky track pending relocation, which could mean moving the structure from where I'm standing right across the park. But how much will this all cost? According to city staff, the relocation could be in the ballpark of $50,000. I think it's $50,000. It's a little much. For some, the pretty penny is a worthy price to pay for peace. This is a percussive, continual, industrial sound that we hear in every room of our house. We spoke to neighbor Joe Cravoza last year, ready to rid his street of the noisy zip line. We shouldn't be asked to live next to this for the next 15 years of our lives. Now it's unclear when this zip line relocation project will begin. As soon as we get that information, of course, we will let you know. Interesting city council comment mm -hmm. section as well in that story. Laura, thank you.